When I became pregnant, I was totally desperate. You didn't say the word abortion in those days. Women risked their life every day to get an abortion. And we had to keep it an absolute secret. This was a man trained and licensed, and he turned me away. How could he? I was hemorrhaging, and it wouldn't stop. Every day, the city hospital would have 20 or 30 women come in infected and bleeding and dying. I remember the, the, the steel tool. I think we ought to break the law. I think we ought to counsel women and help women get abortions. The daughter was asked why she didn't want to be a mother. You're talking to a 10 and 11 year old kid. You might have a woman that would be not as, as wealthy that would go to Mexico and she would have to take what she could get. At that time, I did not have the courage to do abortions myself. I remember this ad in the newspaper that said, pregnant, need help, call Jane. It is a political issue. We are the means of production, and the state means to control our bodies. The real moral and medical question is whether women should have abortions humanely and safely in our hospitals, or whether they should, we should continue our degrading system of unwanted pregnancies and criminal abortions. I'm tired of having half the world tell the other half what they should do with their own body. They begin to argue that the law interferes with individual privacy. The question is, when courts will agree abortion is something to be decided by a doctor and a patient. There are many who say that this bill is abortion on demand. I submit that it is not. I submit that we have abortion on demand in the state of New York right now. Any woman that wants an abortion can get one. If she has $25, she has it done here under the most abominable circumstances and regretfully, regretfully this is happening more often than you or I like to admit. I had hoped that this would never come to pass. I fully appreciate that this is the termination of my political career. But Mr. Speaker, what the use of getting elected or re-elected if you don't stand for something? I therefore request you, Mr. Speaker, to change my negative vote to an affirmative vote.